what's up? Right now I'm just chilling on one of the decks on the boat right now. Look at that. Look at how immaculate that water looks. So I realized the first couple videos I've done were really just showcasing my escapades around the ship and in the areas that we were ported. And it didn't really include a lot of playing. So I figured today I would show a little bit of that side. So I'm gonna show you uh, where we're playing. It's called the Panorama Lounge. Look at this, some cool, got some cool seating over here. And that is where we are going to be playing. Look at that stage. It's ridiculous. There's the little band corner we got right there. I'll show you my little corner once we get down there. Some cool chandeliers. So cool. Right now we're set up for the bandstand show, the, which is the jazz show. And uh, right now I'm gonna show you a little bit of the kind of music we're doing for this show. back at the room. Um, we just finished a run through of the show. That was probably one of the better run throughs we've done so far. I'm really proud of that. I think tomorrow we start the Latin portion of the show, which for me is a lot of acoustic guitar playing. And one of the songs we're doing is like crazy for me on acoustic. It's like... <laughs> Wow. The last few weeks have been very, very exhausting. 
It's definitely a lot to handle if you're not used to something like this. And that's kind of what I want to talk about right now. I always try to do things that get me out of my comfort zone in some way. I don't think you'll ever fully get out of your comfort zone, but you will certainly expand your comfort zone. I feel like this year I was kind of, I was very steadily kind of going, my comfort zone was kind of steadily expanding. And then this gig came up and it just went whoosh, and now I'm like so far out of my comfort zone, <laughs> especially for someone like me who is maybe not as immediately social as other people may be. And also because this is my first time playing overseas, my first time traveling by myself, like without family. And I definitely feel some of those pressures <laughs> mounting at times. Um, which can make it difficult to kind of make connections with people. And when I say make connections, I mean just like making friends, because that's really what connections are in the music business, really. Like, people talk about making connections and, like, you know, knowing people who do things. It's like, making connections is just making friends, that's all it is. You know, I overthought it for a very long time. The concept of making connections and having people you know and stuff like that. All that is is just making friends. Just getting to know people and just talking to people and showing interest in what people do. I always kind of find myself trying to not overthink it too much and just go into a situation like this with the intent of making friends, and, and it can it can get overwhelming, for sure. Um, hmm. And I think I feel this way mostly because I'm still trying to find my footing and because this gig is so new to me. So I'm trying not to put too much extra pressure on myself because this is a gig that has, you know, a lot of built-in pressures already. I'm certainly glad that I took this opportunity. I'm not gonna say that I regret it in any way, but I will say that it's, that it can be a little overwhelming <laughs> in some aspects. Uh, socially, the time commitment. If you or someone you know is interested in a gig like this, then I definitely suggest giving it a shot at least once. It's definitely a lot that I wasn't expecting and a lot of stuff I wasn't prepared for, but it's not anything in the long run that I can't handle. All I can really do is try and focus on being better than I was yesterday, which is kind of how I always try to operate. I'm not really sure what the point of me saying all that was, but it was just stuff I felt that I had to say because it was on my mind. If I'm going to post stuff on the internet, then I want it to be true to who I am as a person. Like, I'm not going to put anything out that I don't think is true or that I don't mean. I'm not going to BS anybody with the stuff I post on the internet. Whatever I post is 100% me and that's kind of how I choose to operate. If you made it to the end of this talking passage, <laughs> uh, I applaud you and I thank you for listening. Here's a little PS section to kind of add on to my last point there. I feel like social anxiety and neurodivergence amongst musicians isn't really talked about that much so i feel like it's good to talk about it because it makes people okay with the fact that they may be either neurodivergent or socially anxious of which i am both talking about it kind of gives other people the power to talk about it themselves and instead of feeling shame about that, they feel comfort in knowing that other people deal with the same things. That's at least 
one of my goals in in documenting my time on this boat. So if you're a musician and you are neurodivergent and or socially anxious, I'm just here to let you know that it is possible to do hard things. And if you're pushing through, just know that I believe in you and you can do this just like I'm doing it right now. All right. Thank you, everybody. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram as well for more content. All right. Thank you, guys.